Texas has set a one-day record for new confirmed cases as well. Overall, 10,000 plus cases reported just today. It is the first time that number has happened in our state in a single day. And the debate over how to slow the spread of the coronavirus in North Texas and across our state continues to intensify. As political reporter Jack Fink explains, Governor Greg Abbott and Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, for instance, sharply disagree on a solution. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says he doesn't believe Governor Greg Abbott's order nearly two weeks ago to shut down bars and reduce in-dining capacity at restaurants to 50 percent will slow the spread of COVID-19 enough. We're asking the governor on behalf of the doctors to follow the science. The judge sent a letter to the governor Sunday asking him to close more businesses, including bowling alleys, amusement parks, sporting arenas, weddings or other large events, inside restaurant dining, gyms, day camps and daycare for non-essential workers. When we're dining in restaurants, we obviously don't have our mask on all the time. And uh, therefore, whatever's coming out of us uh, is going into someone else who doesn't have their mask on. During an interview Monday with Beaumont TV station KFDM, the governor was having none of it. All of these local officials who are asking to shut Texas back down, they've absolutely refused to enforce the current executive orders that are already in place. What they need to show is action, not absenteeism. Locally, our, our uh, citizens are doing a great job of wearing their masks. Aside from Dallas County, Tarrant County has seen a rise in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. But Judge Glenn Whitley says he's not asking the governor to shut down more businesses or to grant him the authority to do it. No, if I had it, I wouldn't do it. If you look at the either county judges or mayors who are asking for more authority to uh, take action or to really shut things down completely back into lockdown mode that would really force Texans into poverty. Both the governor and Judge Jenkins say their beliefs are based on what doctors are telling them. And they do agree that slowing the spread of the virus will boost the state's economy. But how to achieve that is a whole different story. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.